Are you searching for good Bible verses? How do you find the best Bible verses that speak to your situation? Well, there is no right answer to these questions. You can gather great insight by reading the most popular Bible verses according to my research. This following list of Bible verses are the most sought after according to my research. They will help you find strength, courage and encouragement in your time of need. When you are at your lowest point, sometimes it can be hard to remember that God is there for you. But when we turn to God, we can find love, strength and healing through His promises. Here is a list of most popular Bible verses ranked in order of popularity. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Psalm chapter 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But whoever hopes in the Lord will renew their strength. They will sow on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. John chapter 16 verse 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be dismayed, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 through 8 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer, and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent of praise worth think about such things Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to his purpose. 
First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Matthew chapter 28 verse 29 through 20. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to every end of the age. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says, Come to me all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. John chapter 14 verse 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Psalm chapter 91 verse 11, For he will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways. 2 Colonicus chapter 7 verse 14 says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 through 20 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control against such there is no law proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 6 says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight john chapter 10 verse 10 says the thief comes only to steal, and kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore if anyone is in Christ, new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Psalm 91 says He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pest lines. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and butler. You will not fear the teller of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pest lines that stacks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side. 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil plows around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we don't see. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 says but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that bought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. First John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. First the Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for, for you in Christ Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 says, 
he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ his power may rest on me. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 through 10 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. So we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that he should walk in them. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably bring more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Ken Timoth chapter 3 verse 16 says, All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, Above all else, guide your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Romans chapter 8 verse 39 says, Neither height nor depth nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ our Lord. John 15 verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 says, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is the vindication from me, declares the Lord. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 says, Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave him so for me. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 through 8 says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing. It rejoices with the truth, bears all things, lives all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to fighting soul and spirit, joints and marrows. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, but You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. You may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. 
Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 through 2 says, Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, and you are the cross, despiting the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. James chapter 5 verse 16 says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on into completion until the day of Christ.